What's the deal, y'all? This your man, King Eric, the media assassin, coming at y'all with another video. So I want to talk about this album here that I thought was very special to me and probably one of the most underlooked albums of 1997, and that was MJG's No More Glory. Because it showed that Bald and MJG, they built a repertoire of strong group projects and, and group work. This album showed that these guys could hold it down solo as well. I remember the first single, That Girl, Straight Fly Shit. You had Stacey Dash in her prime as the lead girl, you know. And they sampled the classic That Girl. And one thing I want to tell y'all about the 90s for sure. And I don't know if anybody knew about this, but you look at that video, right? And you see girls dancing. In the middle of the song, y'all notice every video in the 90s, especially when the South was like this. I remember even when No Limit started, ain't No Limit started that. When even with serious songs, you had girls dance. Dude could sit there looking at it, could be a song about growing up in the projects. Dude could look in his refrigerator and see nothing but dog food in his fridge. And then it's, and the next scene, switch to girls dancing the camera's for us. Get, <laughs> it's crazy. But that was the 90s for you. And that's what made this album special. Because the rest of the album showcases MJG, strong range as a songwriter, rapper, spitter, you name it. Keep Your Mind was the perfect opener. It's like it had that feel good Southern feel not from the 90s where he introduced us to his story, his struggle, and his strife. It shows that him and Ball are two different individuals. Now, when 8-Ball and MJG come together on this album, that's where it's special to me. Anyway, That's you're going to get some dope shit regardless. We talk about Middle of the Night, Black Mac is Black Shine. I mean, Black, Black, Black Mac is Back and Shine and Recline. I want to ask y'all this. Y'all remember that duo Dirty? Y'all remember the group Dirty, right? Listen to the song Midnight, I mean Middle of the Mid Middle of the Night. It is clear that Dirty got their whole style from M Eight Ball and MJG. Listen to that song, you could tell. From the ad from the ad libs to how they deliver on the track. This type of production. They got their whole style from Eight Ball and MJG. So going on to the album. My favorites are actually the ones that he did solo. I'm talking about Backstabber, I mean, slipping when he's talking about backstabbers and friends, no more glory. A good damn man. Well, he was talking that grown man talk. Hard but fair. That's what made this album so special to me is how it was structured. From the interludes to the theme to the production. It didn't really have any features. The only feature that it really had outside of, of 8 Ball was Bun B. I think Bun B was on um, one or two songs. But one thing I didn't like, the only thing I didn't like is that the Take No Shit song with Bun B is, is censored on every platform. I don't care where you find it. It is censored on every platform you can find. Even on streaming sites, if you can find it, it's, it's, it's censored there. But that's the only blemish that I could think of. But this album here is amazing, y'all. Y'all need to go ahead and check it out if y'all can find it. It's called No No More Glory. Dope album, man. Big salute to 8 Ball and MJG, the pioneers of the South. Definitely a dope project. So y'all check that out. This is King Eric signing out. Holla.